Hello, you wonderful people. We are back with episode number three of I'll Be Back to the Future with the Terminator. And as we left it before, the T-1000 keeps on getting his head blown off by the T-800. And we're going to do something about this liquid metal situation to try and finish him off for good. Um... So, it is saying there's a room here. Of course, there's tons of books. I think there's nothing else to pick up here. But there is a lot of books to go through. Oops, don't do that. Alright. Is there any... Oh, yes. There is the book. Journey to the Centre of the Earth is a classic science fiction novel by Jules Verne. The story begins in May 1863 at the house of Professor Otto Lindenbrook in Hamburg, Germany, where he dashes home to examine the latest Aquitarian purchase an original runic man manuscript of an Icelander. While browsing through the book, Lindenbrook finds an attached note written, to, written in runic script, along with the name of a 16th century Icelandic alchemist. Uh, and... That is the person who claims to have discovered a passage to the centre of the Earth. So, have we actually got to get to the centre of the Earth? To solve this liquid metal problem of the T-1000. Uh, there's no other books here so we obviously have what we need <coughs> let's have a quick chat with the doc after i fell off my toilet i drew this flux capacitor okay I need a minute here. You're telling me that this thing can imitate anything it touches. Anything it samples by physical contact. Get real. It could disguise itself as a packet of cigarettes. No, only an object equal of, of equal size. Why not just become a bomb or something? It can't form complex machines, guns and explosives, and have chemicals and moving parts. It doesn't work that way, but it can form solid metal shapes. Knives and stabbing weapons. How long do you live? I mean last or whatever. 120 years with my existing power cell. Can you learn stuff that you haven't been programmed with? So can you be more human? My CPU is a neural net processor, a learning computer. Whoa. Is there anything in this room that we can interact with? The answer to that question is no. Uh, so that's on exit on out of here. And new destinations to go to in 1955. Gotta get back in so let's head on over to the high school. Uh, 
Uh, not sure what's happening here. Obviously, a lecture of some kind. For those of you who may have dozed off, let me reiterate my point. There are two theories people have. Most rational scientists believe that the Earth has a magma core that keeps the planet warm and is the source of many volcanic activities. But some crackpots seem to believe that the Earth is hollow, that in the centre is somehow a vast living environment that could be the source of all life and may still host long existing um, long extinct species for me personally i think the whole idea as is plausible as a giant gorilla and a lizard fighting it out for dominance so it's very clear he does not believe that the uh the earth is hollow But it sounds like it's going to be, because that is where we need to get to, the centre of the Earth. Right, where can we go here now then? There is only the museum. And there is a book in the centre of the room. Oh, the original runic manuscript of the Icelandic saga. Is that the, the book that we're looking for? It is. And I would assume now it's not as simple as just picking it up, is it? No. So, we're going to need a distraction to be able to get the book. We've got a toilet to the left here. And that's the only place that we can go or interact with. So, we've got a loo. A sink. Oh, what's that? A sofa and some torn fabric. And he found a cotton swab. So, if you watch my previous uh, games of Back to the Future, there's a common thing that happens where we block the sink up. And that is going to enable us to take the book. Yep, yeah, that's what we want to do. We want to clog that sucker up. It's going to overflow. And there he goes. Hey, who did this? Oh no, what a mess. Now can we take the book? I'd better not, the book has a very effective alarm. Let's try and swap it over. Great, the book has the same weight and the alarm didn't set off. So we've got the book that we need. If we need to look at this. Oh, we found a map as well. It's an empty map. Oh, and this last part. Uh, I don't know what he's on about. Exactly, what the hell does this mean? I've got no clue. Got a cotton swab, a 
a book and a map. Oh, let's go. I think the DeLorean. Old Dot Brown's house. I don't know if there'll be anything here. Oh no, that's just back to uh, where the T1000 is getting his <laughs> getting his head completely blown off still by the T800. So exit, please, Marty. Need to have a look at the DeLorean if we can. And there's nothing but DeLorean, but the HUD comes up. Let's take a little shifty in there. And there is a suitcase in there. Let's have a look at the suitcase. And we've got a lemon. Okay. And it would appear that that is all that we can get from here for the moment. Um, can't do nothing at the museum. Oh, it's changed. The lecture is now over. Professor Jones. My name is Marty. I need you. I need you to help me to get to the center of the Earth, kid. Did you listen to what I said back there? The Earth isn't hollow. It's a molten core. And even if it wasn't, what makes me think I'd want to go down there? How do you know for sure? Have you ever been? I don't have to. Plenty of scientists I trust have proven it. What about Dr. Hapgood? Sophia, yes, I heard about her expedition. She's a good friend of mine, but I feel that her evidence is as shaky as it can be. What would you say if I told you she's going to be missed? I'd say prove it. What are you, from the future? Just read this article. What's this? Hmm, wait. Goes missing? Start talking, kid. I'm from the future. Look, I cannot go into all the details, but we need to get to the centre of the Earth. Or someplace near it, anyway. Wherever so Sophia's going, there is a weapon that can help save the world and time. If this is all a lie and some sort of trap, you'll regret it. It's all true, you've got to believe me. I'll humour you and actually let you try and convince me. Follow me. Tell me on the way. Oh, it's Indiana Jones! Sophia keeps getting into trouble and I have to get her out. Indiana Jones is going to come and help us get to the centre of the Earth. According to her team and the article you showed me, Sophia went into a cavern that has collapsed. Her team is thinking that she died, but I know Sophia. She wouldn't have made such a mistake so carelessly. She's alive, and there has to be a way in the cavern. Either we find an entrance, or we dig one by ourselves. Okay, do I... So do I need to give you something then? Oh, the map. Yes. 
yeah, I'm, I know what it is. Get the map. Indiana Jones will sort this out. The last part in tiny print. The legend writ. The stain affected. The key in silence undetected. 55 in iron pen. Mr. Sturluson. Whoever that is. I think he was the guy that did the book. And it's old Indy. Indy's trying to... Trying to sort it. The legend and the key. Now there's something. Maps have legends. Maps have keys. It's a map, an invisible map. Wait a minute, what do you mean by invisible? The stain affected could refer to a dye. Or a reagent used to bring about a certain result. Combined with the key in Science Undetected, the implication is that the effect is to make what was undetectable, detectable. Mr. Sturluson can't offend. Okay, well we did find a lemon. So that would be acidic. And we've got a cotton swab. So maybe... Oh no, this is... In oh, we've got two characters again. Right, so Indiana Jones has the map. I believe. Let's give him... The lemon. Uh, we've got a newspaper. Article of 1955. Today marks the 30th anniversary of the last known whereabouts of Miss Sophia Hatgood. Alright. Leave. Wow, there is a lot of text in this. Yeah, alright, it's going to take us bloody ages if we keep on reading that. Um, give the hairdryer to Indy. I wonder what it is. It's a hairdryer of the future. And the cotton swab. Let's go over to Indy. Right. Can we use the lemon juice on the map? The cotton swab. Yep. Cotton swab onto the map. And then we'll dry it off with the hair dryer. And that is a load of foreign. I don't know what that says. Oh, it's been proven we can go to the center of the earth. It is accessible to humankind. It's unthinkable, but it must be true. A man took tools and went there. No human being has ever sat alone into the interior of the earth alone. The greatest of his day he was laughed at when he claimed there was a world down below. 
the laughter stopped when he disappeared, never to be heard from until now. There are latitudes and longitudes. I must start packing. Oh, we're flying to Iceland. There is our gateway. Now we descend into oblivion. So we're just going to walk down these tunnels to the centre of the earth. Pretty much, but knowing our luck, I'm sure we'll find something that will make the journey faster. Pretty heavy, huh? Alright, Jones, every journey begins with the first step. Onward. Oh, there's a path there, so go on then. And this is just going to go deeper and deeper. Just make sure we're not like missing anything. No. So down we go some more. Where do we go from? Oh, down there. Uh, did that just put us back to where we were? Oh no! Oh, there's a path there, look! So unfortunately we did go back on ourselves there. But where are we now? I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. It says path. And there's a path there. Am I just going to end up going round and round in circles here? Maybe I should have gone that way. And then... Oh, there's a path there as well. Let's go across here. Ah, this looks different. And we'll go down here. Oh, God. What am I going to do? Let's try going through the left one this time. If we end up back where we were. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know, you know. Let's go down that path. So that just takes us down there. This is going to be infuriating. I can't believe this. Right, now go down the centre path. How about that? Bloody hell. I hate it when they do this. I hate it. It looks like we're going somewhere different when we go to this bit. But that that's the only route around. You can only go that way. So what if we go to the left hand side this time? Oh, fucking hell. And yes, that was me officially stuck 
we'll call that there for episode number three. Thank you very much for watching, and join me for part four coming soon. Latest.